Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to deal with multiple header rows in your data set. Now I recently came across this scenario when I was trying to export a huge data set within SAP as a CSV file. I came across this particular scenario and I have recreated a sample data set, something similar to what I received from SAP. Now, if you look at the third row over here, the header name or the column name is base name. However, that has been split into two different rows. Likewise, in column E and column F, instead of having the header information in the first row, the header information is in the second row. Now, this is extremely unorganized data and also you will see that there are some blank values or rows over here after every row. So let's import this into Power BI and see how we can transform this data and this solution works with Power BI and also it works with your Power Query within Excel. So on Power BI let me quickly just import this particular data set. So this is how the data looks when you import into Power BI and Let's hit the transform data option and get into Power Query Editor. The first thing that you will notice over here is uh, Power BI has already promoted our first row as the header information in this particular table. Now what we will have to do is we will have to demote the headers. So I'm going to delete these steps over here in the applied step section which have been applied automatically by Power BI. So this basically leaves us with the first row as header. Now what we will do is we'll, let's go to the transform tab and click on transpose. So the moment you do that, all of your columns become rows and your rows become columns. So this results in basically having all the header information for in these two columns over here. Now all we have to do is merge these two columns into one. So let's select these two columns over here which have the header information. Right click here and then select merge columns. And then on the separator you can have it none or you can have any other special characters like comma or a semicolon etc in your data set but for me none works and I'm going to leave it just at that and new column name is optional I'm going to leave it at that because it does not really matter I'm going to click on OK. So the moment you do that you will see that a new column has been created which is called merge and base name is now as one single uh, name as a row header and then you will see that all of your null has been null values over here have been replaced by the actual column names. So once you have done this you can now go back to the transform tab and click on transpose. So the moment you do that you will see that your data has now been transformed and since and now let's get rid of these blank values over here let's select this particular drop down and uncheck this blank and click on OK. And now let's go back to the home tab and click on use first row as headers. And now you will see that all of our headers have been assigned in the way that we wanted. And now let's click on close and apply. Once this is applied, we can go to the data view over here and you will see that all of our column names have been assigned properly without having any issues. So this is how you can deal with uh, CSV files or the flat files which have multiple rows as the header information. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.